How's it going everybody? My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be reacting to 10 plus awesome facts about New Zealand. So it's not specifically just 10 facts. I feel like a lot of people always think of Australia, but they always leave out New Zealand. And uh, apparently, from what I heard, at Universal Studios, they have a big globe. I obviously know that because I've been there before. But like, apparently, they didn't have New Zealand on the map right next to Australia. I did not know that. Like, I obviously, I see the globe, but I don't pay attention to it. I'm like, oh, it's a universal globe. Okay, let's go about doing whatever else I came to do. I didn't come to look at an actual globe. But apparently, uh, was it Peter Jackson? Who, who's the one that uh, that did the Lord of the Rings uh, uh, trilogy? The director. I guess he basically went to Universal and he told them, hey, you basically need to put this on the map. Put them on the globe. So... Um, I mean, as you as you should, right? But uh, I'm I feel like I don't know anything about New Zealand <laughs> other than Lord of the Rings was filmed there and whatnot, you know, and the fact that they're phenomenal at rugby. So um, I'm kind of interested and kind of pretty excited to learn more about uh, New Zealand because I don't feel like it's talked about really at all unless it's in sports, primarily rugby and the females with uh and the women with uh soccer so uh let's check it out and as always the link to the original video will be in the link uh description down below and uh subscribe for more content like this and leave a like rating and all that other stuff let's get to learn about new zealand which i don't know if the if, if it's gonna yeah I think I need to turn this up. New Zealand. What a beautiful and amazing place. Home to the Kiwis, and I'm not talking about the fruit. <laughs> I'm talking about the amazingly proud and great people of New Zealand. Here on FTD Facts, we've learned so much about many different countries around the world, but today we are going to look at another unique place and jump wow. in to learn about New Zealand and find out what is truly fascinating about this great island and country that may be small, but its culture and lifestyle is so well known that its influence has reached the edges of the globe. So welcome to FTD Facts, guys. My name is Dave Walpole, and for those who are just here on the channel every single day learning with us, first of all, awesome big thumbs up to you guys for learning about new places around the world with us every single week. And that is actually what we do. We like to learn about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. So I felt like for those of you who are new to the channel for the first time and you want to learn... Okay, I feel like re more recently I've been really interested in learning about other places, other countries, and other people in, in different countries. And I think that's part of the reason why I started doing a lot of different, um, like, sports from different countries, uh, music from different countries, whether it's The Who or, or Nightwish or uh, the Ukrainian song I just did. I don't, I don't, Shum, by, by whoever uh, that, I forget how, I don't even know how to say the name. Anyways, let's let's continue. About different places around the world, well, you want to hit that subscribe button because, well, come on, it just feels good to be educated. You can tell your friends like, oh man, I learned something cool about New Zealand today, or I learned about Afghanistan, or I learned about America, or something crazy that you just didn't know about. And I'm going to say I'm pretty excited to learn about New Zealand because... Well, New Zealand is, I mean, first of all, it's a beautiful country. It's just a crazy country in what you can do there. It's a very outdoorsy sort of place. And one other reason I'm just really excited to talk Yo, about this country is that. the fact that, well, here on the channel, we did a community poll. We like to do it once a week, asking what you guys want to see next. And out of the 1,400 of you that voted, 53% huh. of you guys said, let's talk about New Zealand. So let's start learning about it. Oh, and before we get rolling into I this, just to let building. you know, we like to do a lot of part twos on our videos. So if you actually want us to do part two on new zealand at any time throughout this video hit the like button because if we get over 3,000 likes we do a part two that's oh. how it rolls here now to start it all off new zealand is known as an island country which is located in the south pacific right southeast of australia and as a matter of fact it's actually one of the countries that is considered the closest to the antarctic shelf 
And New Zealand actually has a lot of things going for it. First of all, its indigenous people are really famous throughout the world. Also, it had the first person to ever climb Everest. And of course, other things it's famous for is like surfing, skydiving, bungee jumping, and basically anything outdoors because this is like the outdoor country of the world. At least that's what I think. Now, if we were to look at some straight facts of New Zealand, let's look at its capital. And first of all, its capital is Wellington, which is Wellington. the second most populous urban city in all of the country. Sitting right on the shore, of the Cook Strait, which separates New Zealand's main islands, known as the North Island and South Island, which actually the North Island is the 14th largest island in the entire world with the most population in New Zealand, and the South Island, the one with lesser population, is actually the 12th largest island in the entire world. Now, the reason Wellington sits on a thing called the Cook Strait is because James Cook actually traveled through this strait back in 1770, and therefore it was named after him. But as for Wellington, okay. it's been the capital of the country since 1856. And as for New Zealand, it actually had two prior capitals. The only, I'm not going to lie, the literally the only uh, city of Australia that, that... I hope that's the only time I say Australia and not New Zealand. And I'm glad I caught myself. I tend to say stuff and I don't catch myself. And then later on, someone else says it. And I'm just like, I can't believe I actually said that. Anyways, I apologize, New Zealanders. <sighs> See, now that, that, that just... The only city from New Zealand that I've ever... That I actually know of before, before now, Wellington, was Auckland. And I think, for the most part, a lot of people think that Auckland is the uh, capital... And I was about to actually say that before he said what the actual capital was. So I'm glad I didn't. But again, New Zealand. I'm sorry for saying Australia. Let's, let's, let's move on. Being Old Russell, which was the first one in 1840 to 1841, which at the time was a very small settlement and it only was capital for a small time until kind of it reminds moved me of to Hawaii Auckland with the trees in one. And one interesting and fact about Old Russell is that the Capitol building and many other buildings were actually burned to the ground after the move, basically leaving the whole town deserted. I think that's really cool. I'm like, man, I'd love to see these ruins. But now let's jump into New Zealand as a whole and get a greater picture of how this country actually operates. First of all, it has a 2017 population estimate of 4,881,980 people. Doesn't seem like that much. Now, like I said, that is a 2017 estimate because they haven't done a census since 2000. 2013, and at that wow. time, the country had approximately 4.2 million people. But either way, as of its 2017 estimate, it ranks 120th in the world for being the most populous country. Now, as for its rank, its density sits at 203, with a population density of 17.9 people per square kilometer. And of course, all of these people are stretched across a land size of 268,021 kilometers square. And actually one thing, and I don't know if a lot of people do really look at New Zealand and notice this, but to me, if you were to actually combine the islands, it actually looks like an upside down boot. I actually sometimes just consider New Zealand the mm -hmm. reverse or the bizarro version of Italy. But either way, this reverse Whoa, Italy sits cool. at 75th when it comes to its land. Hold up. Bizarro version of so, Italy. But either that. What is, is it? Why is it built that way? I mean, I'm trying to catch myself on my stupid remarks on why is that formed that way not built watch it actually be built <laughs> how does that how's it form like that that's actually really cool the way this reverse italy sits at 75th when it comes to its land size and the country has approximately 1.6 percent of water now one thing that i really kind of despise talking about when we look at countries is government because well, government can be a very sort of like iffy thing for some people, but there are some really cool facts about the New Zealand government, so I was like, okay, we gotta mention it. So first of all, the type of government New Zealand has is considered a unitary parliamentary, with what I call a dash of constitutional monarchy, as it is part of the Commonwealth in some sort of sense. Because you know, New Zealand, just like Canada and Australia, have attaches to the United Kingdom, it's just the way it is. But one of the coolest facts about its yeah. government is not what its government is, I will say U.S. would have if we didn't, you know, do the whole independence thing, so. 
is, yeah. but who's ruling the country? Because currently the Prime Minister of New Zealand is Jacinda Ardern, She's who took pretty. office on March 7th, 2017. And just so you guys know, she is the youngest female head of government in the entire world. How old is she? As she took her position at the age of 37. Now, don't quote me on this, really? guys, because I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she has the record of being the youngest woman to ever in history pretty much be in control of a country. And that is not including people of royalty, because she's not silver spooned, you know what I mean? And diving a little <laughs> deeper into this country, we should look at its money. Now, first of all, it has a GDP of $215.1 billion, with a GDP <laughs> per capita of $44,069. Now, of this, their exports sit at approximately $35.8 billion, which have them rank 54th in the world. And of that, their biggest exports are concentrated milk at 13%. Go figure. Frozen bovine meat at 5.9. Sheep and goat meat at 6.3. On top of that, they have other things like butter, wine, cheese, and you name it, they are known for agriculture. And one of the most mind-blowing facts that I found out about New Zealand when it comes to their exports is that they are the eighth largest producers of milk in the entire world really? i didn't know that as a matter of fact they provide approximately 2.2 percent of the world's milk with approximately 4.2 million milking cows within the country and 5.25 dairy cows okay sorry if i keep pausing this i just yeah if you want to like i said the original video will be in the link in the description down below for some reason recently i've been suggested fucking cow hoof trimming videos I don't know why it's just out of all those I think I mentioned this in the past out of all the sports related music stuff that I've been watching you know it's just like YouTube's just like hey based on what you watched we think you might like some cow hooves check it out I, I don't understand it it's weird let's continue <laughs> But that that's I didn't for some reason I just it makes sense for like cuz uh farmland and whatnot I just never thought of New Zealand as a, as a uh milking country or or not okay hold on I've never figured them to be as high up in the rankings of the world as they are honestly I don't know I thought hold on, let me think about cuz hold on so there's England Scotland, Ireland, US, maybe, I don't know, Canada, probably not Canada, I don't know, I don't know about Mexico either. Um, maybe, like, China or Japan, or South Korea. Uh, Australia still feels a bit random for Australia and uh, New Zealand, but, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, I don't know how, how much farmlands in France or... Also, I don't know much about France or Spain or Germany or anything like that. So they, they might also, I don't know. I need to, you know, I need to check this channel out more just to learn more about other countries. That's don't all. ask me what the difference is between a dairy and milk cow. I have no idea. And going even further into this dairy sector, they have approximately 12,786 dairy farms. And that was a number that was given from 2005. So, well, it's like 2018 now. So they got to have more than that. Mm -hmm. And for all those who do show care and concern for these cows, it should be noted that the livestock are actually generally grass fed. And on top of that, there's approximately 38.5 million sheep in the country. That is more than the city of Toronto when it comes to people. Ah. Now to finish Jeez. off with the exports and imports, let's look <laughs> at imports as they import approximately $35.7 billion, ranking 57th in the world. And of that, their biggest imports are cars at 8.2% and crude petroleum being 5.8% and refined petroleum being 34 On top of that, there's also computers, other equipment, and phones and things of that nature. So, all right, let's get all the numbers out of the way because one thing that I want to definitely touch on right now is the people known as the Maori. These guys are awesome. Now, for New Zealand, they have approximately three official languages with the Maori language being the second official language being spoken by 3.7% of the population. Is that the population. natives of New and Zealand? And overall, the entire population of the Maori make up about 14.9% of the population, being the second largest ethnic group in all of New Zealand. Now, who are the Maori people? Well, they're the indigenous people that lived in New Zealand before okay. us white guys came over and, well, took everything. 
This is what I like to blame the English, okay? It's all England's fault, okay? It was England... <laughs> it, it was all England's fault, okay? Don't 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 be blame just just basically um just blame England. Blame England. All indigenous people need to blame England for for any shit that's happened in the past, okay? England's fault. Because that's what we do. But then now, again, as for I wouldn't Maori be here. People, before, it is believed that they so. inhabited the region when coming over in canoes from eastern Polynesia in 1250 to 300 AD. And it's really nuts, guys. I mean, like, I just wanted to touch on these guys because, you know, the Maori people, they got such an amazing and diverse, like, they even have a warrior culture to them, which is really fantastic. And I'm just, I feel like that could just be done in another it's video. It's always fun episode, to watch those. Because it's just, it's so impressive. But they are awesome. And one thing that New Zealand is huge on is preservation, as the people of New Zealand are known to be big outdoors people and actually keep an eye on their environment very closely. Unlike and for this reason, New countries. Zealand actually has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And these World Heritage Sites are the Sub-Atlantic Islands, the Tungariro National Park, and Taiwahi Ponimu, Southwest New Zealand. I would and guys, if I mispronounced any of those, I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I've ever taken a whack at those things. And I tried to find some pronunciation things online and that was not easy. Which yeah, actually, I would by not the way, Taiwahi Ponimu is considered the land of the greenstone in Maori. And this particular location stretches over 2,600,000 hectares. That looks and so within nice. this particular region, it actually has four national parks, it's nuts. And these national parks are Mount Cook, Mount Aspiring, Westland National Park, and Fjordland National Park as well. And as for Fjordland National Park, it's one of the biggest ones in all of New Zealand. And as a matter of fact, this one was originally inscribed as a UNESCO zone until 1986, until 1990 when they all merged together creating one big giant location. Of course, it's a very touristy place, being the most popular national park for its international tourists, with over half a million people visiting this place a year. Also, side note, the movie Alien Covenant actually shot some scenes at this park as well. And considering we even mentioned Mount Cook, we should also mention the fact that Mount Cook is the tallest mountain in all of New Zealand, coming in at a height of 12,218 feet tall. And as well, if we're going to talk about mountains, we should also talk about volcanoes because, Ooh. whoa, New Zealand has a lot of them. Either currently active, dormant, or extinct or ancient, above ground or underwater, New Zealand is known to have at least 83 known volcanoes. Damn. And of this, the largest volcano that is currently active in New Zealand is Mount Rupeu, which is actually located in the infamous Taupo Volcanic Zone. Either way, guys, that is just a brief look at New Zealand. When was the last time that went great off? Great things that it has to offer. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I know we miss a lot of really cool facts here when it comes to New Zealand. We didn't even dive into culture really all that much. But there's just so much to talk about this country that we just can't fit it in into, like, a video that's going to be close to 10 minutes. Otherwise, it'll be a half an hour and nobody will watch these videos. But I mean, however, I'd guys, if you want a part two video. of this video and learn more about lie. New Zealand, well, <laughs> hit that like button because if this video gets over 3,000 likes, well, then we're going to do a part two. Also, on top of that, if you guys are from New Zealand or you've been to New Zealand or you're just a guy or a girl that knows a lot about New Zealand and you want to give us some more facts about this country for us for our part two well feel free to do so because we always love hearing from you and we love learning with you guys not just teaching you guys about every single thing but this is the country people and culture of New Zealand a place that signifies peace and beauty in its natural element and home to the many people who okay. understand that so so what what was that celebration hold on what was this like, is this uh, part of Anzac Day? Or is that just an Australian thing? Because I'm pretty sure it's Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is this part of Anzac Day or is this something different? I, I don't know why. I always kind of like learning about the holidays as well in different countries. You know, because here we, we just had Thanksgiving and that's primarily just an a, a American thing. Uh, obviously, Christmas is, for the most part, worldwide, unless you celebrate, like, uh, Hanukkah, or uh, I'm sure there's another one that I'm going to think, that I'm, Kwanzaa, that's the other one I was, thought I was going to miss, you know, but, like, there's always all these different kinds of uh, holidays in different parts of the world 
that honestly I would I would love to learn about. Uh, there, I think there's a lot more stuff that I would love to learn about New Zealand, honestly, because like I said, all I've learned, all I know about them is that their women's team is pretty good. I think they made the uh, World Cup the last however many World Cups. Um, I also know that uh, they're phenomenal at rugby. Jonah Lomu. Which I did a tribute video. Go check that out. But please ignore the fact that I said rest in pieces. I don't know why I said that. It just came out that way, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, again, it, it, it's one of those things like once I'm able to travel, if I'm able to travel anytime in the future, and I say that because I, I'm, I, yeah. Money is a, a hard thing. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. And I am not, just because I'm, I just, no. Nah. It's it it's tough. Especially since, uh, once I'm, I, I hope to go over to uh, South Korea to visit my brother and sister-in-law and niece uh, for her birthday or for something. Not really sure what we're going to be able to do, but um, I would love to visit them. But then while I'm over there, since it's just literally not that far away from Japan, I would love to go to Japan and, 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 and yeah, just hop around over there. But again, the problem is it, it costs a shit ton of money. <laughs> and that's the problem. So I, I need to uh, be saving everything, which is tough because, you know, right now, especially with the holidays, you got to be buying presents at least. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but at some point I would love to go to an Auckland game in, in New Zealand I would love to go to Australia and, and watch some AFL down there uh, it would be so much fun if there's anything else that I should know about New Zealand let me know in the comment section below I would love or if there's another video on New Zealand that I should watch um, it's it's uh, let me know in the comment section below hopefully it doesn't get deleted I've noticed that a lot of comments for some reason, they get deleted or, or they get hidden from me. I'm not quite sure why that is. I, I, I even made sure that, like, there's not, like, a, a spam blocker or anything like that. Or, or, or like, a, um, like, a filter system or anything. I don't know why things just disappear. Like, I see it in my notifications and I click it and then it's not there. And so I scroll through all the comments and then I go back and I go through the other place and, and I go around and I literally try and search for it because I'm like, I'm really interested in reading the comments half the time. Even if I don't respond to all of them, I, I um, definitely read them all. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, hopefully, like I said, hopefully it doesn't get deleted. So let me know. Give me the link down in the description if there's another video that you'd like me to uh, watch and uh Anything else you'd like me to react to, let me know in the comment section below. If there's another sport in New Zealand other than rugby, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I did try and look up New Zealand soccer. Uh, the only thing that really came up was uh, the New Zealand national team. From what I understand, you guys really don't really care about soccer down there, <laughs> which, which sucks. Uh, I think that will be fun uh, to go to a, a professional soccer game down there, but that doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Um, I don't know how professional the league is down there because I think I read that there was a new league like you've got you guys have tried like multiple times or something like that and just it just didn't catch on I guess or something but uh yeah uh once again let me know in the comment section below what else I should react to uh subscribe for more content and I will see you guys next time